Okay, so once the uh, beer has been degassed, we can take it off the vacuum. And what we're going to do first is measure the specific gravity, or more pre precisely the plato. So for this we pour the beer into a measuring cylinder. And we do exactly the same for the water. We don't degas the water because it's got no carbon dioxide in. Now because we have to correct um, the specific gravity for temperature, we have to take the temperature of the beer uh, first. And we do that just using a thermometer. wait for it to become uh, stabilised. This beer is pretty warm, it's about 20 degrees C. So we, we make a note of the temperature because as I say we'll need that for the conversion to Plato. And then we get the hydrometer. Now the hydrometers are very uh, delicate um, and uh, you've got to be careful how you handle them. It's always tempting to handle them from the top but that puts stress on them. So try to handle them in the bulb area and obviously don't try and drop it. So when you're actually placing the hydrometer in the beer, you essentially lower it down, you don't just plonk it down, and you give it a nice little spin, and the spin just to get rid of any of those residual bubbles, and then what you do is you wait for it to stabilize, and you'll read off the specific gravity from the scale, which is on the side of the hydrometer. So yeah, it's stabilized, so we can read that and record the result. And as I mentioned, you actually do the same for the wart, which we won't do at the moment, because, um, as I say, we, uh, we're pressing time. So, uh, do the B on the wart and record the temperature and record the specific gravity. Then what we're going to do is the further analysis, which is going to be the colour, the bitterness and the diacetyl. So what we have to do first is filter the beer in a filter paper, so you just pour it down and you've got to be patient because it does take some time to go through the filter paper.